What's up guys, welcome to this new video of Edomox Brilliant Adventures and I'm not gonna w let you I'm not gonna make you guys wait and uh, I'm gonna show you straight away what we got Okay, so this is the first guy we got here. This is not only a very good plant that we were going for, we were going for plants. Let me just remind you, these are the parents. We wanted to uh, get dual blade all instead of imp and confident instead of nut. So somehow we got Goda because there was a Goda on R1, but uh, this is a very good Axie. It's pretty good. You can still copy the Cottontail, which is what people go for in that kind of build. So that's very playable. You got a curse card and not only that, but this guy is the only one that exists in the marketplace. You can look for something like this in all of Axie Infinity. You're not going to find one like it at all. So in itself, it's a very good breed. I love this and it's totally unique. And talking about unique, let's go ahead and see the second one. It's this guy. Uh, which I named B tier because uh, you're gonna see what comes after but I mean it's decent though We got cottontail. We got little peas. We got Ronin. We got dual blade and we got double nut This is a very playable Axie and uh, this is very good and uh, The genes on it. It's a zero breed and the genes on it have double nut cracker But you got double innocent lamp and double confident so this could still be bred to get something out of it but now we had one plant one beast the next one is this mother trucker. This Axie right here is insane. It's exactly what we were going for. And not only that, but this, there are only seven Axies like this one. And there's only one of them for sale. It's a three breed in the marketplace. And it's up for like 150 bucks right now. So this Axie is really good. It's a very good front laner. You want, if you want to use it for uh, tournaments, it's very good. You can uh, use the uh, the dual blade version to play against, I don't know, those uh, healing comps. You can use it against the uh, endless shield mech that we've seen a lot during the end of the season. That alone, just having this as a plant with those uh, with these move set, that's huge, and. It, Okay, so I, I I told you already. We got one plant, one beast, and now another plant. Two out of the two out of the four are already plants. So that's huge, and we already got what we were going for. So I'm I'm sad, baby. But not only that, another one, and this guy is exactly the same, just different color. Just look at that. Come on, bro. Like this this breed, this batch, is very good with this one. It's decent with this one, but it's just excellent with two of these. Both of them landed. I think the probability of that was really low, of both of them landing. But we got it. We got two of them, which makes this 100% profitable and 100% a success. So that was uh, my breeding adventures, uh, my first breeding adventures. And uh, it was it, it went great. It went exactly like uh we wanted it to but that's not it i am going to show you guys my next um my next project i'm already working on that so editing magic do your thing okay so as you can see we've got eight eggs here well not this one this doesn't doesn't count it's a different thing that i'll show you at the end but these are the ones that count so let's start off with this one i am breeding this guy and this one. What do I want to get? I want Hero here and I want Dual Blade here. That would be huge because that's insanely playable. But if we land the. If we land this here, then that's no issue. That's good. We'll most likely get Little Peas, Confident, Lamb, and Cotton. That works perfectly. We just want to switch around these, these two here. I bred these three times. Yeah, there they are, these three, and now I bred these two. What happened? Wh what do I want to go for here? We got hero. We got everything. It's all the same. We want to get a plant, 
that has the same move set, but it cleans out a little bit of the R1s. It cleans out a little bit of the genes. This is a very good gene pool. So I, what I want to do with this is just have some decent genes. And if it's in a plant, it's perfect. If it's a plant, then it's huge. It's just perfect. Because I bred this four times because it's the best pair. So if I land every single one of this in a plant with better genes, great. Because I, I can do it again. And then I can probably just mix it with one of the breeds from this guy and go ahead with the farm. So this is actually my first farm. And uh, obviously I got to give a huge shout out to, to Stark for not only showing me and teach, teaching me everything that there is to, to know about breeding, but he also helped me sponsor this. So he helped me get this on. So that's that's huge. You know, that he's, he's, he's a pog, pog manager, bro, honestly. Um, but yeah, that this is what I wanted to show you because we're going to continue this series on uh, with this batch. And then if I have something else, I will obviously tell you I will get this and I think it's uh, two and a half days. But now this was given to me. This was gifted to me by uh, the breeding program, which I was a part of. Obviously uh, made by Axie Infinity, Stark, uh, Hantel and Action. Uh, 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 Akshay, sorry, I, I was thinking about League of Legends. Um, I sorry, if, sorry if I butchered that name as well. Uh, but but yeah, uh, they put this together and taught us about everything we need to know about breeding. So that's why I'm doing all this. And uh, they gave me this as a, as a souvenir. So it's an egg, and these are the parents. And something huge can come out of this because we already okay. You got uh, double AOE. The, these are both AOE. This is in, this is just insane. This is huge. And this guy is pretty good as well with the uh, with Kestrel. The only bad thing is the puppy here, but we have earwing in, in dominant genes here and double earwing in R1 and R2. So it's a 50% chance of landing the the. Uh, the ear wing on a obviously on a dawn because we're breeding two dawn two dawns here so i think this could be a really good one if we don't get kestrel we get eggshells which is good itself it's good as well so and and if we don't even land that it's still huge i love this kind of burst i love aoe so i would have a zero breed aoe genes axi which i can obviously breed on to to get something else out of it but yeah that will be on the next uh video obviously i would be giving you guys an update as to what hatches from this on the next video and i think i'm going to do that just a video for this because that implies what to do with all those breeds and if we're going to crossbreed or not and after that i will have another video with this and then deciding what to do, what to breed it with, and uh, showing you guys what uh, came out of this. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.